Hello, welcome to Summerfest Online 2020. Thank you very much for coming along to view these presentations. Just a quick reminder that we have a number of exhibitors in the Exhibitors Hall. If you want to go along and have a quick browse, maybe do some shopping, they would love to see you. And a quick reminder too about our wonderful sponsors, Yayo Hemp Products and Butte Island Cheese. They're also in the Exhibitors Hall and they'd love to see you too. If you've enjoyed the show, please remember this is a free event and if you'd like to make a small donation, you'd be very welcome. Please go to the Friends of VegFest page to make a donation. And a reminder too, we have another show in November, London Online, and in next March, Plant Powered Expo. And you can find out all about that on the vegfest.co.uk. Thanks very much and enjoy the presentation. Hello, my name is uh, Danielle Maupertuis. I'm a vegan pastry chef and I worked in five stars hotels in the UK and abroad. When we welcome a vegan guest in a hotel, a restaurant, a coffee shop, when it comes to desserts, many times the choice consists in a fruit salad or a fruit sorbet. And when we have a bigger variety, Many times uh, the presentation is uh, not really fantastic and the taste is not really uh, yummy. So I decided to create my own range of uh, vegan desserts based upon taste and uh, presentation. So today I'm going to present you an exotic version of uh, a classical English dessert, the crumble. So I will show you uh, how to make uh, this uh, pineapple, coconut, lime and chocolate crumble. So let's go uh, through the uh, ingredients uh, first. For the chocolate crumble, the pineapple uh, compote, the yogurt cream and uh, eventually the pineapple and coconut uh, jam. Don't bother yourself uh, by uh, taking uh, notes uh, at uh, the end of uh, the session. I will give you my uh, website, you just uh, sign up to uh, the newsletter and I will send you the recipe with pleasure. So I'm going to present uh, the crumble in this uh, a funny uh, marmalade jar and also these uh, uh, little ones uh, also called uh, verine. These ones are ideal for picnics and uh, barbecues. The cream uh, doesn't risk to collapse. So let's start with uh, the chocolate crumble. Uh, first of all, you preheat your oven 190 degrees. Make sure your oven always has the right temperature before you put your product, because if the temperature is too low, your product might be uh, undercooked and it might even affect uh, the quality of uh, your product. For instance, if you put a puff pastry in the oven at 100 degrees, it will not develop uh, properly. So let's go with my uh, cocoa powder and my 30 grams of gluten-free uh, flour. This is mainly uh, the one I use, uh, the Dove brand. I'm going to add some golden uh, granulated or caster sugar. I'm going to add some uh, desiccated coconut. Give it a quick stir. Now I just washed my hands and uh, I'm going to add uh, some uh, vegan spread, 35 grams. I just took out of the fridge now because I need it a little bit hard and I'm just gonna tip some little pieces like this and with uh, my fingertips I'm just gonna mix all these ingredients together 
just to uh, kind of uh, coating uh, the fat and the dry uh, ingredients. Don't overwork because you might uh, end up uh, with a short crust. So this is uh, the consistency I'm uh, looking for and I'm just going to transfer on a baking tray and bake for 15 minutes at 190 degrees. So while the chocolate crumble is uh, baking, uh, let me uh, briefly uh, talk about uh, my uh, online courses. So you know uh, I'm a tutor at the Vegetarian Society uh, a Cookery School, but the school is uh, closed, so I decided to uh, develop um, some uh, online courses. I have uh, two types. Uh, the first one is a one-to-one -one online course. I really think this is the best way uh, to learn about uh, vegan uh, pastry. I work with you, I work at your own pace, you can ask all the questions uh, you want, there is uh, no uh, limit uh, uh, in time. So, four easy steps. First, in my website I have a vegan pastry uh, menu with uh, nine uh, desserts, uh, chocolate, uh, English uh, continental. Uh, you choose uh, one dessert, you send me an email and we book a course online. I send you an ingredient list and after confirmation I send you the method of the recipe and we work uh, together through a video call. This is uh, not only about a recipe, it's also about uh, ingredients, suppliers, uh, techniques, uh, precious tips that will increase uh, your self-confidence uh, and skills in vegan baking. So let's uh, have a look how this uh, chocolate crumble uh, is uh, going. I have now uh, 10 minutes. I'm going to roughly you know, turn it over with um, a spoon or a fork just to make sure it's evenly baked and I'm gonna put back in the oven for another five minutes. So this is my crumble uh, ready. I'm gonna let it uh, cool down. <coughs> Now for the purpose of this uh, demo, uh, I prepared uh, some uh, chocolate crumble uh, in advance uh, and um, I'm going to fill uh, my uh, uh, jars. This brings me uh, to uh, a quite important uh, comment. Um, don't think when you making vegan desserts that you have to wake up two o'clock in the morning many many things can be prepared in advance you can put in airtight boxes like this one the creams you can put in the fridge or in the freezer So this is my first layer about to be ready. Is this all right? I think it is. And it's time now to go for the pineapple compote. So I have here uh, a fresh uh, pineapple. I took uh, the skin uh, off and uh, I'm going to cut about 160 grams of pineapple.
pineapple cubes. So I'm going to pour these uh, pineapple cubes uh, in uh, a saucepan. I'm like this. I'm going to add some pineapple juice and 75 grams of pineapple and coconut uh, jam. This will bring the sweetness in my uh, compote and the kind of uh, syrupy uh, consistency. And I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes until the fruits are getting uh, soft. Now this uh, pineapple and uh, coconut uh, jam uh, you will find in uh, exotic stores. Uh, if you can't, uh, I can give you um, a quick uh, recipe. I have here 150 grams uh, of uh, small pineapple cubes. I'm just uh, gonna add uh, some uh, golden caster sugar, some desiccated coconut, some pineapple juice, and secret, a spice or a pinch of nutmeg or a pinch of star anise, like this. And you're just uh, going to let it simmer gently, like uh, a usual uh, jam. So I'm going to add now some uh, lime juice. I'm going to add uh, one uh, tablespoon of uh, white rum. If you think it's uh, too generous, uh, you can go for uh, a teaspoon. Oh, it smells so good. And now we're just going to reduce until we get a syrupy consistency and we let it cool down. So my uh, <clears throat> pineapple compote is uh, ready and I'm just going to start the second layer of my crumble. So uh, ready, uh, let me transfer them uh, for a few seconds uh, in the fridge. So now for the yogurt cream, <clears throat> I have here 45 milliliters of uh, milk uh, alternative and I'm going to add 75 grams of creamed uh, coconut. This is uh, the one uh, I used and I'm going to micro microwave sorry then for about uh, 15 seconds. So this is my uh, milk alternative and the uh, creamed uh, coconut. I'm going to now add uh, my uh, dairy free uh, yogurt. I'm going to sweeten my cream, not with sugar because uh, I don't want uh, a grainy consistency. I'm going to use uh, a syrup and also because I want uh, a nice and white uh, color, I'm going to use uh, a clear syrup like uh, this uh, corn syrup for instance. I'm going to add uh, two tablespoons. And one, two, some Malibu liqueur. This is, of course, uh, uh, optional. I quite like uh, the little uh, tangy uh, taste. Um, quantity is up to you. <laughs> 
and I'm gonna whisk until I have a nice smooth consistency with no remaining lumps. So just a, a quick uh, bracket. If you think uh, your cream uh, is uh, a little bit uh, runny, depending on uh, the consistency of uh, your yogurt, uh, you can thicken uh, your cream uh, with uh, the uh, vegan thickener called uh, Ager Ager. This is uh, the one. Two things you have to know about uh, Ager Ager. Uh, first, it has to be dissolved in a liquid. You cannot just uh, sprinkle like this uh, over your cream. And secondly, uh, you have to bring it to uh, the boil. We count uh, an average of uh, one teaspoon of uh, agar powder for about 250 milliliters of uh, liquid. So I have here uh, 75 uh, water and I'm gonna dissolve. Let's say to go a little bit uh, quicker because of uh, the demo, let's say I'm going to use uh, half uh, a teaspoon. And bring to the boil. So my eager eager is uh, ready. Yeah, I just pour in, sorry, my cream, give it a stir. And I'm going to let it set now uh, in the fridge. So while uh, our yogurt cream uh, is uh, setting in the fridge, uh, let me uh, briefly uh, talk about uh, my second type of uh, online uh, courses. In order to reach uh, a larger audience, uh, I'm launching a cycle of uh, Udemy courses about uh, vegan and gluten-free uh, desserts. I chose uh, Udemy because uh, they have uh, promotions on a very regular basis uh, that makes uh, the prices uh, really uh, affordable. So the course is uh, called um, Vegan and Gluten-Free Desserts, Easy, Yummy and Fantastic. The first course is dedicated to uh, beginners. Uh, you will learn how to use uh, the main uh, vegan substitutes uh, in uh, pastry and you will also increase uh, your self uh, confidence and skills in uh, vegan uh, baking. There is uh, a second uh, uh, level for uh, advanced uh, students where we uh, dig uh, more uh, deeply uh, into uh, elaborated uh, uh, recipes. So let's have a look uh, if the cream is ready. <coughs> So still uh, maybe a little bit uh, runny, so I'm going to put back for a few more seconds in uh, the fridge and in the meantime we can prepare our pineapple skewers. So I'm going to cut uh, some uh, pineapple cubes. Maybe the second one. Avoiding the center, you know, which is always uh, a little bit hard. One, two, this is a baby one. One, two, <clears throat> and I'm going to grill them in the oven. 220 uh, degrees turning from time to time to make sure that uh, all the sides are uh, evenly uh, colored. <clears throat> so my uh, pineapple cubes uh, are uh, ready. Time now to uh, finish uh, the desserts. So I'm gonna pour my uh, yogurt cream in a piping bag so easy to use, uh, you see, uh, you just pour 
your piping back and you fold uh, over um, a deep uh, jar, container, whatever. You twist. <clears throat> Cut the edge. And you just fill your jars. So now, finally, I'm going to make my pineapple uh, skewers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in many recipes, they say that in order not to burn in the oven, you have to soak your uh, wooden sticks for half an hour in the cold uh, water. But let me tell you, and uh, my students uh, will confirm, you can soak for half an hour, you can soak for one hour. When you put your skewers like this in the oven, they burn. So I really recommend to do this uh, afterwards. ta -da! And this is my pineapple, coconut, lime and chocolate crumble. I hope uh, you did uh, enjoy uh, the course. Uh, try it, but uh, call an ambulance on standby uh, before because it's uh, too good. This is uh, my uh, web website uh, address, as I said uh, before. Sign up to my newsletter and uh, I will send you the recipe uh, plus uh, some other free videos uh, with pleasure. You also have my uh, Instagram address uh, if you want to follow all my uh, uh, creations. And don't forget, vegan desserts are easy to make, taste yummy and look fantastic.